What's up guys, the Bobcat here and welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 as Hindustan. And last time we attacked Sindh, took their land, attacked Juniper, took their land, looked at our missions to do, which wasn't many, had a look around the world. Timrid's completely gone now, mostly by rebels. I am disappointed. Lose money. And last time we were just actually having a look over here. One of our generals died. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. So. Oh, what was I looking at? Yes, this one. <coughs> having a theologian. Do we have one? No, but we do have an inquisitor. Let's see. What's our inflation at? Nothing. Okay, we will want the inquisitor. Let's check if we haven't got any theologians. And we will start working here, I think. And where is that? Let's see if we can spot the Inquisitor. You go there. I should stop them. Surprising enough, even with all these provinces, we're still at 100% religious unity. Which is quite nice. So we couldn't get a theologian. Boosting stability one more time would make sense. Actually, soon we will have the Noble Republic. So that's the big thing. Do we go expansion or a different one? I really want to go expansion, and I think I'm going to do that. But if we're going to go expansion, we need ships. So which army is going to go? Well, let's see. Don't know how much this will be able to support, so I'm thinking we split this army in half and take the seven. We'll put them there and we'll start building ships. Why can I not build units? Hello? I think my units tab is broken. Yes, I'm pretty sure my units tab is broken. Well, I think I'm going to save, pause, and reload, and see if that fixes the problem. Hopefully it will. Should I do that on camera? Uh, no. No need. Hey, the units tab is back. There we go. Now, what do we want? Well, we've got plenty of uh, naval force limit. We want cogs, though, for a start. How many do we have? We'll split you guys up, get all the cogs out, we have nine. Huh. Looks like we don't need any cogs after all. Could do with some more carracks though, I think. Now yeah, we'll hold off. Next technology group. We don't unlock any new ships or anything. So I think I actually want to build the uh, farm estates. Let's see. How much do they cost? 500 gold, 10 admin points, 60 months. So yeah, we can build two of them. Never been a big fan of building them, but they're useful. So diplomatic tech can go up pretty soon. Still do I have a theologian? I really want to get that theologian. As soon as we do, we can implement... Where is it? This one here, which will give us minus 6% technology cost, which is very nice. As we need all the reducing technology points we can get. In fact, I'm pretty sure there was a uh, an administrator you could buy which does that. I don't see him, though. Perhaps they got rid of him. Uh, still don't want to choose any missions. Should probably start annexing someone. In fact, all our claims will disappear in next month, I think. So then we'll start having to fabricate them. You are also my vassal. Okay then, well, we'll undo all this because I had to save and reload to get my unit tab to appear. We cannot annex them just yet, however, if we improve relations just a little bit, we can. 
So we will start doing that. Do we still have bambling buffoons? We do. Well, might as well get started. We have four diplomats. Might as well put them all to use. Speed up a little bit. Is my microphone turned on? It is. Next to the vessel. Eh, not going particularly quickly. But then again, the babbling buffoons kind of did that. So we'll start annexing them. Have they got cores here? They have. They've cored it all up for us. I always love that when they call things up for us. So, now in fact. Is it now? No. A little bit more. And then we can up our technology and take the exploration idea. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to choose this one, but I kind of do. Just because we could get the Cape of Good Hope. Hopefully before the French or anyone else arrives there. It also means we can start destroying Swahili and... Oh, there we go. Claims have gone. All those claims gone. We... Not a big deal. With the Timrids gone, we can pretty much expand this way without any problem. Are these all plains? It's all desert. But yeah, these guys are going to be our next big target. Um, I'd like to go east as well, but there's Ming, and Ming is such a pain. I think I'd have to wait until Ming actually formed its uh, its own nation, as in did its idea, so that, you know, the idea which we had from Hindustan, it has one as well. I don't remember what it is, but I think I'd have to wait until it cho chose that idea and activated it before I declared war on them, just to see what happens. Missionaries, oh, there's a theologian really want him, but he is damn expensive. Do we choose this? If we did this now, can we get over here? No, we can't. Our colonial range is not long enough, so we have to choose that. Which is kind of a pain. Because now we can't just up it by two and instantly get the explorers. However, now we can colonise it. <clears throat> and it's going back pretty quickly. Seven a month. Be eight, but we're Indians, so we lose one. I will take the stability hit. In fact, that's not so bad, because now we can boost it. And do we have a little bit longer? Again, I don't want to hold off much longer, so I'm not sure how long it'll be before Spain suddenly appears here. So how long will we have babbling buffoons for? September the 1st, 1535. So another year yet. It's kind of annoying. Our manpower is recovering pretty nicely though. Is this place called yet? It is not. It will be in a few years. In fact, if we wanted... Well, we can't go back to war against them. Not without taking a huge uh, hit to our stability. Truce breaking. But we can go back to Oregon to them, fully annex them, and then... In fact, we'll have to fabricate a claim. Can we do that? No. Because we need to call that place up before we can do that. No, we can take them, give it all to this... Give it all to our vassal here, Mu... Uh, Muir. And then we can start taking Delhi as soon as we've annexed that vassal. And giving it all to uh, Gu Gualo. And as soon as we've annexed them as well, we can have a new vassal. So, uh, probably Nepal. Wouldn't be a bad one. Is that the one we want though? Hmm. Perhaps we'll just save it. And we've got Bengal. I guess we'll just have to hold off on doing certain things for a while. So, can we see any more of the map? Uh, not really. There we go, we've lost our claims because the truce is gone. It's 
still got the same uh, choices. We could use a theologian now. I wouldn't keep him around very long. What? Are you kidding me? You are joking. Double babbling buffoon. Oh. That's bad. How long is that going to be for? Does it say? Come on. Where's the... It doesn't even say. Hmm, it doesn't even say how long it's going to be. But I better not have glitched out and broken. I'll be really annoyed if it has. I mean, our diplomat is offsetting it, but still, I'd rather not suffer from that. Oh, what's going on over here? The heads? Are, where are they? Watch you guys. Wow, are they taking out the Timurids as well? No, it's. Uh, Aqua Qua Qua is taking them out. Not a bit of pleasure there. We can now up our technology. Let's do that. New idea. We needed the shake up. No, we didn't. Wow, this is just bad event after bad event. So, which one do we take? Economic? Not a bad one. But I think we're going to go exploration. And then we can start colonizing. So we will take exploration. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of other choices later on. It's not a terrible one. So as we get enough diplomatic tech, which won't be very long, or diplomatic points, we can get an explorer. Or a colonist even. Then we will ferry our men over, drop them off. And then we'll probably take out Adele. In fact, we could take them out if we wanted, fully annex them, then just create them as a vassal. Just so we don't have to core it. That, that actually isn't a bad idea. Same with Swahili if we wanted. What's that we on? Plenty of time left. So has that babbling buffoon thing gone away yet? They're really better not have broken. core is nearly done as well. Another one of our generals has died. There we go, just the core done. Start fabricating claims now. What do you mean we don't have a province we can fabricate a claim on? Can we not fabricate a claim on the capital? Oh, you got to be joking. Oh well. Just have to hold off. Can we get one on Juniper at all? We can. So why can't we get one down here? I think I'm going to have to do another save and reload because I think it's broken a little bit. So I will be back again in just a moment. Alright guys, we are back once again. Has it fixed the problem? Let us see. It has, thank god. What about in terms of fabricating claims? Nope. Probably because it's their capital and it's something silly. Perhaps because it's not contingent with the rest of our nation. It'd be nice if we could tell our vassal to do it for us. It'd be nice if we still had our claims, but we don't, so... Oh, we've got a claim on Juniper, so we can now take out them. You will be done pretty soon, actually. How long before the Babylon Buffoon's thing ends? It's uh, September 13th, 1540. So two years. We nearly got enough diplomatic tech as well to uh, take one of the colonists. Again, another stability hit. <coughs> we'll enact them. Wow, it's been a chain of bad events so far. A series of unfortunate events. 
So, let's play the cornist. Well, now that we have a cornist, we can start colonizing all these little islands as well. Let's colonize Madagascar. Down here, and we can take out uh, Magifit and Bengal. But, who are you allied with? You're allied with no one. We could even take out them. I'm really glad that the Timurids got there. It's really nice that they have. Oh. And colonist. Wonderful. We have a colonist. Do we get any new missions? Nope. But it doesn't matter because we want to colonise here. Let's get our transport over there. It'll take him a hundred days to arrive and we will suffer from some attrition. <coughs> I don't think it'll be much though. In fact, head back into the Western Arabian Sea. Just so you don't suffer from any attrition. 30 days. So, in March. There we go. And now. You're not suffering from attrition, are you? No, because it's 23. You are allied with them now. Oh man is uh, oh man, oh man is really taking over. So let's see how much uh, forces do they have? They have six thousand. Not a big deal. What about the uh, heads, uh, guys? Nine thousand. Not a big deal, I don't think. I think we'll have to ferry some more units over. In fact, you're not suffering from anything, are you? No. So I think we'll go and grab the rest of that stack and ferry it over. Just so we've got a um, sizable military presence. Attach the transport and the transport can head out. We'll want some more carracks though when we do go to war and uh, the military tab is broken once again. Oh joy of joys. Well, we don't need it to build ships, we can just click on the province and go build. Build Karak, Karak. And we'll get some more barks as well, I think. Just to help just get some more trade going. So how long will this take for this place to be to become a proper province. Let's see, we're getting 35 a year. It's a 6% chance, it's tropical, the native aggressiveness. I'm hoping for some good events to happen. If we get some good events popping up. Still got plenty of free diplomats. In fact, this year, the babbling buffoons finally ends. So we can actually start properly annexing our vassal and watch as our diplomatic guy dies. That'll just be wonderful. So how long before this is done? It's not going quickly because of the stability problems. Uh, sure, we will build the palace. Build a great palace, we will do that. Yeah, I'd prefer if we could get more out of it, but the prestige is nice. And having 100% legitimacy is very nice indeed. And we'll boost ability one more as well. Speed up the missionary. By quite a, a lot actually. It's gone from 0.2 to 1. Still got plenty of money as well. We can get another manufacturer if we wanted. Let's see. Yeah, we probably want to build more armories. Yay! and buildings. Uh, good news indeed, more tax. The babbling buffoons thing has ended now as well, so we can actually start uh, annexing. Our ships are done as well, so let's get them all together. Go join up there. Uh, you two were barks, weren't you? You were bark. You're a bark. So you two go join up there.
native uprising. We should squish it pretty easily. Yeah, we could do with a leader down there. So, you guys group up. There we go, we have a bark in there. Let's get him out and get him down here. Still the same ideas. Group up. What are you? Another bark? Yeah. Did I build more barks than I realised? Or were they just. have they always been there? Got these two wandering around. Yeah, go join up. You do can just group up already. Reduce the amount of tabs we have open. There we go. Two group up. In fact, what was that? I thought I spotted a carrick in there. All these buildings are building. The annexing will be done when? Next year. October next year. Still can't fabricate a claim, can I? Nope, could spot rebels. No, there's no need to do that. In fact, where is that? It's there. Over here, can we fabricate claims? We can, and we will. Oh, we should probably set them as a rival. Just so we don't have to uh, worry about... I was going to say, did I click on the wrong one? I did not. Whew. I was a bit close. More natives. Well, each time we kill them, I believe it's dropping... Is it? No, it's not. Well, if we wanted, we could slaughter the natives and get rid of some of the aggression, which would increase the settler chance. Uh, claim our rival's province, how would... claim. Are we already doing that? Yeah, we are. So we'll take it. Since we've already started. Missionary's nearly done. Be nice to get rid of all these problems with the rebels. Let's see. Juniper, how long do we have that claim for? Plenty of time. There we go. Got the claim and the conversion. Still nothing useful. And we'll get this place. Start uh, switching this place around. You guys can go stand there. More native uprising, not a big deal. We have huge numbers compared to them. In fact, what's our technology compared to the others? We're at 7, they are at 3. And a man is taking them out. Oh dear. What's this war? Okay, I don't like this. If a man, a man might just fully annex them. Ooh, that's worrisome. We'll start fabricating claims against a man then. Let's check how much they have. I don't imagine they'll be much stronger than us. A man has 18,000 men. So they have a fair amount. And they're at nine as well because they're Muslim. Uh, use caution rather not deal with any of the uh, problems. They've threatened us. How dare you. Uh, we've still got the theologian, but he's three, so I'm not going to be taking him anytime soon. <coughs> Decisions, still the same. What's their navy like, actually? Oh, man. Um, where do we see? Military... Navies. Here we are. Oman. Scrolling down. Oman has six heavy ships, ten light ships, four transports. I think we outdo them in terms of heavy ships. Oh, there we go. Our leader's gone. And we have a decent air as well. Our air is actually really good. Oh, there we go. Integration is a slow process, but we've done it. We have a bark and a cog. Mm. You come up here. You go join up with them. We'll separate off the cog. S go. You can go and join up with the others. Alliance from Bangladesh. 
Yeah, we could take it. They'd probably vassalise to us as well. Yeah, pretty easily. Speaking of vassalisation, I wonder if if uh, you would vassalise. No, you wouldn't. They're probably dead now anyway. Watch as they all disappear. Should we take it? Um, I'm really trying to decide if I want it or not. No, I won't take it. We will take Nepal though, if we can get them. Defending against Manchu in the third conquest. Are you allied with the Manchu? Oh no, it's Manchu who has declared war to claim where? Should have conquest of the Orient Horde, apparently. Insult our rival of Sint. Yeah, we can do that. Pretty sure we can sling an insult at them. Send an insult. Easily done. Can we fabricate a claim? We cannot. Enemy of enemy. So who are they? See if we can find them. I don't see them anywhere. So we're going to have to use the province finder. Cha. Oh, it's you guys. <laughs> wow. Am I blind? Eh. They don't particularly like me. We'll probably be at war with you eventually anyway, so we won't choose that. I won't choose that one. Still want that theologian, but missionary strength is kind of important. Delhi, would you become a vassal? No. Because you own a someone. I guess we'll fabricate claims on them. We can even fabricate claims up here as well. So we will. Nepal, you would become my vassal if you liked me enough. Let's get you to like me more. And then we'll take them as our vassal. We'll probably sell them Juniper. And these two, once we take them, we'll sell all these two. Uh, Good. Or is it grit? I don't even know. Still can't fabricate any claims over here. We can spot rebels though if we wanted. Slaves are now produced. How wonderful. We have slaves. Are we? I'm sure there's a bonus we can get something like that. Military access from you guys? Sure, why not? Always like giving out military access. Cashmere likes us. Mm, the distance though is kind of an issue. Worth getting them as a vassal though. You're still not destroyed yet, even though you really should be. Sure, you can have one as well. Who are you at war with? I just hit the microphone. I like their flag, how it's just completely red. We'll take the ledger. Go to relations. Not coalitions, coalitions, ooh. Byzantium and Mori is a coalition against the Ottomans. Current wars. Um, where is it? Well, they're at war with everyone. Even though they have 100%, apparently they don't want to give up just yet. They're at war with these guys, who have an alliance with the Mamluks, and the guy... How did they get an alliance? Let's keep an eye on the rest of the world, actually. Huh. Nice, that province there is just broken away on its own. We'll take the prestige, actually. Having more prestige is always nice. <coughs> Still don't see anything else changing. We could light bulb a new idea. I think we should do that one. And then we'll probably leave it alone for a while. 
we'll get you two to group up. We will split you in half twice and get you in a conquistador. Wow, what a good conquistador. Do you have a general? You do not. Now you do. We'll group these guys back up once our men leave. In fact, it's going to take them a very long time to leave. Hey, advisor dropped dead. Who was it? Military guy. Yeah, we'll get land force modifier. They only took one province. Wow, that is surprising. Do we still have a claim against them? Where was that claim? I'm pretty sure we were working on one. No, we still have the claim. Okay, I think now would be a good time to go against them, but we are running over. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I shall see you guys next time.